Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you my big 3DS game collection. All right, let's get right into the video. This video is kind of random, uh, but I actually own a Nintendo 2DS. Uh, actually, it's a new Nintendo 2DS XL. Um, and I really enjoy playing it on my spare time over the years um, that I've owned it, which has probably been just, uh, I would say, close to two years, maybe if even that, probably a year and a half. I've collected uh, a number of games. Um, oh, okay, all right. So I, was, I had them in a certain order, but you know what? We're just going to go with it right now. So these are the games that I've collected for the 3DS and also a couple of original DS games. And I'm going to show you them uh, in this video. All right, let's get right into the video. First and foremost, oh, I'm going to tell you what the game is, show you the case, obviously, and then tell you kind of why I got it. Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. So I am a huge Pokemon fan. Um, you probably don't know this, but, um, you know, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. And when I was a kid, I played Pokemon like all the time. I, I wanted Pokemon to be real. That was my birthday wish. I literally wanted Pokemon to be real. Um, and I have Pokemon Ruby, okay, and Sapphire. Um, so when I saw Omega Ruby, I'm like, I, I gotta pick this up. This game is absolutely amazing. Um, I love it. Um, I just actually recently started it, so I just kind of I'm, I'm still getting into it. Now save my original DS games towards the end. All right, Star Fox. 64 3d okay now i was a huge n64 fan when i was younger but i never had star fox i only played star fox at my cousin's house um and i liked it but i just never liked it enough to to actually buy it for the n64 plus back in the day you know i was a young kid my funds were limited um so basically when i had the opportunity to pick this up it was i was like no brainer let's pick it up i can finally fulfill my you know 12 year old dreams and play Star Fox anytime that i want i started playing this for a couple weeks and then i put it down um i, I like that my goal is to 100 percent complete every single game that i have so i'm gonna kind of tell you my progress sonic generations uh i picked this up because I never had a Sega Genesis, but my cousin had one, different cousin than the last story. Um, and he had Sonic the Hedgehog, whatever it was called for the Sega Genesis. I loved it, but I never had a Sega. So when I saw this, I was like, boom, no brainer, pick it up. I only played it for like, honestly, maybe like, I don't know, a few hours. Uh, I just wanted to get a feel for it, but I picked it up because I got it for a very good price. The majority of these games I actually purchased new because they're so inexpensive, uh, but some of them I did purchase used. Okay, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, okay? So I uh, went to a video game store and I said to the guy, listen, I said, I think I had like 50 bucks or whatever. I'm like, I've given myself 50 bucks to spend on a game. I said, which game would you recommend that's gonna take me a long time to clear? I wanna get a good bang for your buck. He said, this is the game for you. I played it for, I don't know, several nights, uh, you know, like an hour or an hour and a half here and there. Uh, and then I put it down, but I barely even got to the surface of this game. There's so much to do. This is going to take me a long time to 100%, but mark my words, it's going to happen. All right, Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. This game is incredible, okay? My other cousin, yes, I have a lot of cousins, big, big, big Italian family. My other cousin um, had a Super Nintendo and he had Zelda, I think it was like whatever it was called, The Link to the Past. The Zelda game that this is kind of based on. And I loved playing it um, at the time. And when I saw this come out, I was like, what? This is amazing. Like a 3D version of that game, a remake of that game, gotta pick it up. Not to mention the fact that it was so cheap, so inexpensive. I cleared the game, but I didn't 100% it yet, but I will, okay? I'm getting to the games that I 100% cleared, don't worry. All right, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, okay? Now, I had Donkey Kong 64 um, for N64, loved the game, loved the game. Uh, I don't know if it was called Donkey Kong 64, but, you know, the yellow cartridge game. Uh, and I thought this game was actually based on that, so I picked it up, like I said, it, very inexpensive. I, lo I love these Nintendo Selects games. They're so, so inexpensive. You get so much value for such a cheap price. Um, but uh, I bought it and then I realized it wasn't based on that game. I still love it, but it's actually really hard. So I, I played it for, like I said, a few nights, put it down. A lot of these games, because at the time of making this video right now, I'm going to release it later on. So, you you know, it might be a little bit past um, what I'm talking about. But at the time of releasing this video, like places are not really selling 3DS games 
games anymore. So that's why I picked up all these games. Even though I'm not, I'm not playing them like a ton. I only played them for a few nights. I picked them up because I now I'm set for like the next couple years. I don't have to buy a video game, you know, for the next couple years. Super Smash Brothers 3DS, okay? Uh, Super Smash Brothers, one of my favorite, all-time favorite N64 games. Loved playing it. When I saw this, I was like, what? I can like have basically a single-player version of Super Smash Brothers? Boom, let's get it. I like this game because you can pick it up, you can play it for like 20 minutes and put it down. You know, I, I, I have kids and I have a family and I have a busy, busy, busy lifestyle. Um, so I don't really get a chance to play lots of video games. But I'd like to be able to pick my 3DS up, my, my 2DS up, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pick my video game console up play it for 15 minutes to maybe an hour and then put it away for a couple nights you know that's my style and this game is perfect for that pokemon y beautiful game uh i bought this when i got the console so i got you know this game kind of started me off i love it uh, i beat the elite four in it i uh from what i remember i haven't touched in a while but and my ultimate goal is to get all of the Pokemon that you can catch in Y specifically. Uh, I'm not going to go and transfer all Pokemon from different versions and this and that. But basically any Pokemon that I can get in Pokemon Y, I want to catch it, want to evolve it, and so forth. I want to complete my Pokedex um, basically 100% using only this cartridge, not including any other cartridge. Alright, okay, so um, now uh, the Legend of Zelda... Um, Ocarina of Time 3D. I'm actually missing a game. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, and I'll tell you why I know that in a moment. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Okay. Okay. One of my first games that I ever got for the N64 was Zelda Ocarina of Time. I was obsessed with that game. Like, I mean, like, completely, completely obsessed. And then I got this as, I got it at the same time as Pokemon Y. I got both of these when I got the console. And like, I'm not kidding. The first night that I got this, I think I played for like six hours. My wife was like, are you crazy? Are you nuts? Like, you know, like, why would you play for that long? And I was like, you don't know, babe. You don't know the history behind this game. You have no clue. Okay. Like, amazing, incredible game. I beat the game, didn't 100% it yet, but trust me, it's coming. Okay, <laughs> Zelda, Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D, okay? Uh, loved Majora's Mask for the N64. I 100% cleared this game. Okay, let me say that again. I 100% cleared this game, including all of the fish, okay? Including that massive, ridiculously hard to catch great fairy fish. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look it up. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I, told, when I tell you that just to get the fish, to get all of the fish after the game is cleared, there's like this bonus fishing thing that you can do. Just to do that, I think it took me like three weeks of, you know, here and there, a couple hours here and there, okay? Difficult game to clear at the end, but totally worth it. Um, done. I never have to touch it again. Put it aside, okay? Super Mario 3D Land, okay? Loved Super Mario 64. I think it was the first game that I got for the N64, if not one of the first games. Incredible game. Um, this is an amazing version of Super Mario, in my opinion. It gives you the 3D version of it. My wife even loved playing this. I let my dad play this. Like, everybody's impressed by this game because it just brings back those nostalgic memories, okay? Uh, cleared this game 100%, which involves um, beating all of the levels. So clearing all of the levels with both Mario and Luigi and getting a gold flag on all of the levels with both Mario and Luigi. That means two gold flags on each level, okay? Beating it twice, including that last unbelievably ridiculous level, okay? That last, I don't remember what, there's like, the the last, last level that was so hard to beat. I had to clear it, get the gold flag with Mario, and then the same thing with Luigi. It was insane. I don't know why I did it, but I cleared it 100%. Happy with that. All right. The game that I'm currently working on, Super Mario DS, okay? Like I said, Super Mario 64 is one of my favorite games. Uh, I loved it. It holds a special place in my video game part of my heart and brain. Love this remake of it. I'm working towards clearing this 100%. I'm almost done. I really, you know, like if I, if I played the console, you know, for like six hours, seven hours at a time, I'd be done. But I play like an hour here and there. So I mean, within the next couple weeks, I'll be done this. And that's obviously for the DS, the original DS. Um, 
like I, I want to I, I love I love these games if you have any recommendations I got a couple more if you have any recommendations for DS games or 3DS games that I don't already have um, let me know in the comment section below because I'm always looking to collect more I don't want to have like you know like 300 games or however many there are I just I just want to have a good collection of good games that I can play at any moment's time now these two games right here they actually still have the price tag on them uh, you can see it says uh, $9.99 uh, plus tax. Hopefully that comes through in the right way on the camera. Uh, but these two games I picked up uh, for the original DS. We got Need for Speed Undercover and 007 Quantum of Solace, okay? I actually haven't even opened these games up, okay? I'm not exaggerating. I haven't even put them in the console. The reason that I bought them is because they were having a two-for-one sale, and also you got, like, taxes off as well. Um, so I went there and I said, like, you know what? like two games for 10 bucks together like these two together for 10 bucks which where i live is hard to come across any games i know they're probably not the best games but you know what for five dollars each like okay if i go get a, like a i call it like a vip coffee if i go go to if i go to starbucks or whatever or your second cup or like if i get like a nice you know a loaded up oops, sorry about that if i get like a nice loaded up coffee or or even a hamburger i'm gonna pay five bucks and that's gonna last me like i don't know half an hour but these are going to last me hours for the same price. So, like, it was a no-brainer. But that's basically it, though. That is my uh, big 3DS game collection. Like, it's not huge. I know I don't have, I don't have like, 50 games. But I ended up, you know, I ended up loading up whenever I saw good prices. So, like, whenever things went on sale or whenever I saw that they had the Nintendo Selects, I picked them up. I picked up all the games that I wanted. Uh, and I'm basically good to go, but I'm always open for new games. So if you have any ideas of games that you, that you think I should get, drop a comment down below. I'd love to read them, and I'd love to, you know, expand my collection. And I'm, I'm into retro games as well. So I mean, if you like these video game, if you like these video games, if you like these video game videos, let me know in the comment in the comment section below because I don't have any other retro consoles now except for the PlayStation Classic. Um, but I do plan on picking up some consoles and some games sort of making my like man cave area for myself to relax in um with like nostalgic retro games and consoles if you have any recommendations please let me know um and then you know I, hopefully i'll take your recommendations and if you want more videos like this let me know i'll make some videos of new games that i get and that's it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today Thanks for watching.